Hi there, I'm Ryan Chan, the CEO and founder of Upkeep. In today's video, we'll tackle a problem that's all too familiar to those in maintenance and operations. We'll explore how to get your operations team on board with preventive maintenance tasks. We'll dive deep into the data collection process, the importance of clear communication, and the role of operators in equipment care. Stay with us as we unveil how preventive maintenance tasks can actually boost your production uptime and profitability. So how do you get operations on board with preventive maintenance tasks? It's a classic scenario. Operations is focused on keeping production uptime as high as possible, while maintenance is all about improving reliability and minimizing cost. This can lead to a bit of a tug of war, especially when it comes to scheduling tasks like a planned plant-wide shutdown. So how do you bridge this gap? The answer lies in showing operations how preventive maintenance actually supports production uptime. Let's start with the first step, collecting data. It's not enough to just tell your operations department that a bit of planned downtime now will reap benefits in the long run. You've got to show them. And to do that, you need to focus on key metrics. These include the mean time between failures, or MTBF, on key assets, the mean time to repair, or MTTR, those assets when they do fail, unplanned and planned equipment downtime, and the average completion time for preventive maintenance work orders. But don't stop there. You can also use root cause analysis to illustrate how certain preventive maintenance tasks can prevent costly failures. Use these metrics to highlight the time lost on unplanned maintenance and compare it to the time it takes to complete preventive maintenance tasks. By doing this, you can make a compelling case for how a little planned downtime can support equipment uptime. And here's a little nugget to sweeten the deal. The cost savings on preventive maintenance tend to come out to between 12 to 18% over reactive maintenance. So, the numbers are definitely in favor of preventive maintenance. Now that you've got your data, it's time to communicate and collaborate. These statistics can help align the goals of both maintenance and operations, which ultimately is to support production and profitability. To achieve this, maintenance and operations leadership need to work together. Consistent communication is key. For example, as maintenance planners schedule work, they should collaborate with the operations department to ensure the equipment is clean and ready for planned tasks. Regular meetings between the two departments can also be beneficial. But remember, the focus of these meetings should be on determining the root causes of issues and solving them, not on pointing fingers. Finally, consider including operators in equipment care. Having them participate in basic inspections and maintenance tasks can help keep a close eye on your equipment. Plus, it fosters communication and helps your operators see the need for preventive maintenance work more clearly. As a result, you should face less resistance when scheduling preventive maintenance tasks and see an improvement in equipment reliability. So, there you have it. By collecting the right data, communicating effectively, and involving operators in equipment care, you can get your operations team on board with preventive maintenance tasks, leading to increased uptime and profitability. And that brings us to the end of our video. Thank you for watching. We've covered how to get your operations team on board with preventive maintenance tasks by focusing on data collection, clear communication, and operator involvement. Remember, preventive maintenance can significantly boost your production uptime and profitability. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to our channel for more insights. For more information, visit our website at upkeep.com. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next video.